Good morning, you guys. Today we're going to use our foam roller. And if we have one, um, what I'd like to do is start with your hands placed and really engage and pull them together. So when you do this, I want you to engage your abdominal muscles. Now, even if you don't have a roller, you can just draw the hands together and use the energy instead by really pressing. I want you to take a nice deep breath in from here, and all we're going to do is throw it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Really squeeze. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let me just close this really quick. All right. Okay, so now from here, what we're going to do is add a little bit of rotation. So I'm going to rotate here to that left, right side. Squeeze and push. One, two, three. Wrap it around. Four and five. Now six. Exhale, rotate seven. Eight and nine. Other side. One, push in that direction and then resist it. Open up your spine, relax your shoulders. We're increasing that mobility in the body. Five more. One, two, three, and four. One more. And five. Reach it up and shoot it away. Inhale and exhale. Lengthen that body. Take a big inhale. Nice exhale. One more time. Reach and extend. Now bring it down. Shoot it away. One. And two, feel that nice length and that stretch in the back part of your body. Open. Inhale. Let's do one more time. Now let's add that knee to our rotation. Same side. One, two, three. I want to look all the way to my right side. Four and five. For six, seven. Exhale to rotate. Eight. And nine, one more. Switch sides. Exhale for one. And two, three. Now push for four and five. Exhale for six, seven, eight. Two more. Nine and ten. Awesome job. Just going to go ahead and take the roller directly in front of me. If I have a chair, I can push through here and lengthen my spine. It's going to take a nice inhale and open it up. So I'm going to allow the ears to sink right through those arms. Keep a nice flat back and shoot the energy here right out of the hamstring. So really lengthen that spine. Nice inhale. Bend the knees a little and tuck your pelvis. Just exaggerate that little tuck here and round the back. Inhale. Exhale, straighten it out, push through. Inhale, soften and tuck. A lengthen. Very good. Now walk that roller here over to your right side. So really create nice long lines here in the body. Contract here the quadriceps and shoot that energy. And as you push here with your left hip, you're really pressing through that right heel. Nice inhale. Very good, let's rotate to the other side. So big inhale, lengthen and push. Inhale, energy out of the hips, nice and long here. Inhale, and exhale. Very good, back to that center. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull down, we're gonna alternate here, driving one knee and then the other. Ready, one. And two, now three, and four, exhale, five, keep going, for six, and seven, now eight, and nine, one more both times, awesome job, now we're going to straighten the legs, one, and two, now try to stay as tall as you can, three, four, Exhale for five and six. Exhale for seven, eight, and nine. One more time, both sides. 
and let it go. Great job, you guys. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come down to a quick little kneel. I want you to open up your hip flexor. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and lengthen. Create that space here in that hip flexor. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. And I'm just gonna switch to the other side. Pushing through and just creating a little bit of space there in that hip flexor. Abdominal muscle pin nice and tight. Very good. We're going to do a little bit of a swing here, forward and back. All right, so from this position, inhale, exhale. You can always hold on to a wall or a steady object. Inhale, exhale. Lengthen. Try to keep from here that hip lined up with the heel. Inhale and exhale. Heel to the ceiling. Toes to the floor. Five more. Four and three. Now that standing leg, you're working that good medius, you guys. So we've got a lot going on. One more. Fantastic. Okay, right, so this is a compound mode. We're working multiple things at one time. So big inhale. Nice exhale. Try to keep those hips where they want to open. Inhale. Exhale. Find that focal point about a foot or so in front of you and lengthen that heel. Inhale, exhale. Four more. One, two, and three. One more. And four. Great work, you guys. We're going to come down and do some core work. If you will prefer to not lay on this, you can do this from the floor. You could also lay. Your mat right along top of this if you feel like you need a little bit of padding or throw a little bit of blanket or a towel over the top. So most importantly here, before you guys sit, why don't you take your weights here and just have them on either side because in between our ab exercises, we're going to do a few arm exercises as well. So I just have my weights on either side. Now, as far as the weight, we're going to do some circles, some pullovers, some triceps, so most importantly is my head here and the tailbone need to be fitted. So I want to make sure that that low back is imprinted into the roller, okay? So I'm going to keep my core engaged, low back pressing. Open up your arms for a moment and just create a nice big stretch. Now, if you are comfortable here with that snow angel, you can inhale <clears throat> and exhale. Reach for it and let it go. Inhale and exhale. One more time. <clears throat> there you go. Now I'm going to take my right hand out and my right leg is going to lengthen. Left hand is going to support my head. And I want you to rotate through the shoulder to the knee. One, two, Exhale for three and four, five. Keep your chin off of your chest. Seven, now eight and nine. Now let's do 10 little pulses here. I can keep my head in the same place from here or at a little pulse. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Relax. Great job, you guys. Look to your right side. Take a moment and open up your heart. Other side. Now we're going to switch legs, okay? So I just take my right hand behind my hip. Make sure my low back is touching. Left hand supporting me. Left leg out. Through the shoulder. One. And two. Three. Got that peach under my chin. Four. Exhale as I pull it in. Six and seven. Now eight and nine. Now let your head be heavy in your hands, guys. Don't cram here that chin into the chest. Ready, folks? One, two, three. Exhale, pull it in. And five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and relax it. Open it up one more time. It's the right. And we look to the left. Okay, so we have our first arm exercise. If you prefer to stand up for this, you can. You could also do rows and set. So what we're going to do here, you guys, is look below. I want you to think about the muscles down the side of your spine. So from here, I could use two weights, in which case from here, I would dry them all the way up and over, tap to the floor, make sure that my low back does not lift, and then exhale back to the ceiling. If I have one heavy weight, I want to do this with one weight, I would take my pointer fingers, tap, and squeeze. So either way, for me, I like to work the less dominant arm. So if you use two weights are a little bit lighter, then that weaker side has to work a little bit harder. All right, so low back down, tiny bend here in the elbows. From here, we're going to pull it over. So I want you to take an inhale, and then exhale as you squeeze it up and integrate your spine. So inhale, and exhale. Now make sure that that core does not puff up. If you're standing, you have a flat back. Inhale, exhale. Now think about the muscles down on the side of your spine. Inhale, open, exhale. Keep that core engaged, that low back pressing. No tension or stress in your neck. Elbows parallel to each other. Three more. Exhale it up. Inhale down, low back down, exhale. One more time. Take your weight or weights to your hip flexor. From here, <clears throat> from here, excuse me. Press to the heel, squeeze and resist. One and two, exhale for three. I really want you to squeeze your glutes here as tight as you can. Press through the heels. Imagine here you've got a rope tied around your waist and it's squeezing those glutes up and resisting the low back down to touch. Squeeze, imprint. Exhale and imprint. So take your time as you do this. Want to build that those glutes here, largest muscle group in the body, and really responsible for a lot here. Three more times. Squeeze. Resist and squeeze one more time. Now, if you can, keep it up. If you need a break, I want you to take it. And pulse it one and two. Nice strong legs. Keep that core pulled in tight, you guys. Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine. Beautiful job. Great work, you guys. Take a moment. Weights off, and I'm just going to relax my legs open. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to go back to that floor. Okay, so again, from the floor, I can do these moves. I can also do them from standing. Now, the ab stuff could be done from the floor or the roller or even a yoga ball or a boxy ball. All right, so from here, this time, we're going to keep the legs straight. So again, I've got that chin off of the chest. I'm going to exhale here and rotate my shoulder, not my elbow, towards my knee, each under my chin. Point the toe. Ready? Exhale up. So one and two, three. Now really press that belly button in, low back down, tuck your pelvis. Five and six. Seven, eight, and nine. One more. Now, if you need a break or if you feel like your neck is bothering you, take a moment and just focus on lifting and lowering the leg, okay? Big thing here with a lot of roller work and Pilates is people tend to really tuck that chin and hurt the neck. So if you're having a hard time relaxing your head in your hand, just eliminate your head from a movement. So nice deep breath. We're going to pulse. So one, two, three, four, and five, shoulder rotate, six, seven, now eight, and nine, one more time, and rest. Great job, you guys. Take a nice inhale. Relax your arms and imprint your spine. Open up the heart. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and just switch that other side. So I'm going to take my right hand behind my head. 
Left hand open, supporting me. Left leg out. I'm going to point from here to toe and keep that lower back pressing. Ready? So one, two. If you notice your hip flexor starts to get fatigued, you can rotate your toes slightly angled out, and then you're going to build that strength more in the inner thigh as you lift the leg. Five, six. Exhale it up. Seven, eight. Nine is your low back touching, and 10. Nice inhale, rest if you need to, pulse it out. One, two, three, four, exhale it up, five. Don't yank on your neck, let your head be heavy. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and rest it up. Great work, you guys. We're gonna go back to our triceps. So we did our pullover first. Now the triceps comes to the ears or straight up. We can do a tricep kickback from standing. I can also do from here, triceps on a chair. There's many ways that we can do this, you guys, if you are not comfortable lying down, okay? So from here, I can take two weights by my ears, straight up to the ceiling. I can try heavier weights. I can try one weight. Inhale down. Exhale up, okay? So big breath in, I'm gonna try two weights again, that way that least dominant arm has to work just as hard. Ready, abs in, inhale down, exhale one, and two. Now notice your elbow is just a pivot point. Three, your shoulders stay back in the socket, four, and five, and your low back imprints, six, and seven. Eight, now squeeze the tricep. Nine. Now for many, I'm gonna come down to my ear and then halfway up. Nice inhale, one and two. Keeping it right in my tricep. And four, I can squeeze the weight if it's light and I wanna make it harder. Five and six. Exhale, seven. Now eight, nine, to the ceiling, to the hip flexors. Squeeze those buttons up for two. Ready? So one, two, down, resist. One, two, inhale down. Exhale, two, squeeze. In front, three, two. Big squeeze at the top, four, two. Exhale, five, two. Keep your abs in, now six, squeeze. You can always do the bridge to the floor, you guys. Seven, two. I'm trying to push these weights down and resist it. Nine, two. One more time, 10, two. Take a moment, relax your low back. You're gonna pop those hips back up and we're gonna pulse it for 10. Try coming up on your tiptoes. If it doesn't work, you're on your heels. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, squeeze it up, seven, and eight, two more, nine, and 10. Rest that up again. Nice inhale. I'm just gonna open from here. So we're gonna come off of the roller. And what I want you guys to do here is take the weight from one side, either push them off or bring them to the other side. So you can remove the roller and push it off to that side and the weights aren't in the way. So from here, I'm gonna remove and then just relax my back down. Now I'm gonna take that roller, if I have it and place it underneath my knees. I can relax just like this and take a moment. So I just want to let my back settle down for a second. Take a nice inhale and a nice exhale. So I can do a single leg butt lift, taking my foot right on the floor. Could also make this a little bit harder by pressing down. Now, if I notice that my roller starts to move away from me, I would take a weight here and just place it right behind it so I have a hard time moving. Now, a great way to work that and engage that core and really make this from here, the most effective would be to use your body to resist and press instead of using that weight. But if we need to, and we know if it just slips, by all means, that's where we start. 
So abs in, inhale, squeeze, raise up. One. Now take that low back and let it touch the floor. Two, three. Now touch the ceiling. Four, squeeze it up. Five, inhale down and exhale up. Six, seven, inhale. Exhale, eight. And nine, one more time. And 10, quick little rest. Now we're gonna pulse from here, you guys, 10 times. If you want to, you can stretch out your hips by coming into a number four stretch with your leg as we pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, dig deep, seven, now eight, and nine, and rest. Great job, you guys. All right, we're gonna lengthen that leg and give that a quick little stretch. Roll the ankle, rewind it. Now this leg is gonna stretch while we strengthen that other glute. Nice deep breath. One and two. Now really press here through the forearms, the triceps, to help you really resist and lift. Squeeze your glute. Five, abs in. Six. Seven, eight, exhale it up, nine, and 10. If I need a break from here, I'll rest. Number four stretch. Open up that hip at the same time or keep that foot up. Ready? One, two, three. Squeeze it up now for four, five, isolate, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more time now, and let it go. Great job, and take a moment here, and grab onto those feet and relax my low back to the floor. Nice inhale, feel that space here in the hips. While I'm imprinting that spine, I can also play with lengthening my legs if that feels better. I can also hug my knees in, adjust this move so that it works for you. If I can't hold on to my toes, I hold on to my calves behind my, my knees here and support myself. Roll the ankle. One, two, and three. Now rewind it. One, two, and three. So this next move, you really want to use a roller to be able to do it. As we come through this position, you guys, as you lift up your hips, you're going to be extending your legs. You can use the yoga ball as well. Or you can take from here your leg out a little bit further, maybe on top of a chair. And then from here, you're still going to be working the hamstrings, okay? So from this position, we're going to go 10 from here, and we're going to extend the leg and then pull it back in. Now, I don't want you to take that leg so far out that you lose it, and then you have a hard time pulling back. Just enough where you really feel that, that hamstring and you don't feel like you're going to hurt yourself, okay? So big inhale, press through. So lift, push, pull, relax. Inhale, exhale for two. Inhale, exhale for three. So left, just a tiny extension. If not, stick with the butt left. Five, squeeze and push. Now pull. We're really using that hamstring, you guys, to lengthen and pull. So squeeze, push, pull. Three more. Left, exhale, keep that core in two more times. Inhale, exhale. Let's go up one more time, you guys. Left, push, and pull. Wonderful job. Take a moment and lengthen that leg. If you want to pat that out or punch it out, you can. Fantastic. So before we do minis, we're going to just switch to the other side and repeat that same thing. Remember, if I have a step stool or a chair, I can work my hamstring by just keeping it a little bit further away from me. My butt lift, everything is closer, so I can really focus on where that butt needs to lift. Okay? All right, so to add that extension, pressing through, point, Push, pull, and imprint. So inhale, exhale, drag and pull. Two, inhale, 
Exhale, abs are nice and tight, you guys. Touch the ceiling, push, and pull, that's it. Three, squeeze, push, pull. Four, inhale, and exhale. Five, great work, you guys. Squeeze, push, pull. That's it for six. Squeeze, push, pull. Seven, you guys got it. Lift, push, pull. For eight, lift, push, pull. One more time. Lift, push, and pull. Yowza. Lengthen that out. Maybe you want to pad it out, punch it out a little bit. Great work. So just a quick little set here of minutes, you guys, and we're going to roll out the hamstrings. All right, so from here, press from here. Nice deep breath in. I can do a pulse, or I can do a quick push out and in. Abs in now, left, 10, 9, 8, 7, drag and pull, 6, 5, you guys got this, 4, 3, 2, you did it. Lengthen that leg, feel that nice stretch there, rub that out a little bit. Beautiful work, you guys, let's switch legs. Last 10 from here, ready, squeeze, push, 10, 9, 8, Abs in, seven, six, five, push through, three, two, and one. Yes, lengthen that out. Thank goodness that's over. Lengthen those legs, you guys. I'm just gonna get from here a nice little massage in the back of my legs. I can bend my knees in here. I can hug it out. We're gonna roll out the hamstrings, okay? So from the position, if I don't have a roller, I would stand up and do my a little bit of my hamstring stretch up against the wall. So I can come from here and just gently roll front to back. Inhale, exhale. Maybe that's too much, but what I would do is take from here, one knee, place it down, and then just roll the opposite side. Inhale, exhale. I can rotate my foot out a little, catch a little bit of the IT band. I can rotate my foot in, and catch a little more of my inner thigh. So I like that this because I can control how much pressure I am placing on that hamstring or the IT band. So if I rotate to the side, it can be a lot for people to rotate and just line their IT bands but use the rest of the body to help you a little bit easier. Try rotating in a little bit. So if you have a hard time using the roller, like a rolling pin to your body. There's all these ways you can modify by using other parts of the body to eliminate a little bit of pressure. All right, so from here, you guys, now you can always do a crouching tiger. You can also use this to build the core and come over the top. Now, these extension and pulls, okay? Imagine a lever, the longer the lever, the more it has to work. So I can decrease that amount by keeping it closer to me or I can extend further away. So as I come here onto my forearms and keep my abs in, the first thing that I'm going to do, and if I'm on the ground and I don't have a collar, I can do a dolphin. So I can lift here and then sit, okay? Lift and sit. So what we're gonna do here, you guys, is you're gonna give this a try. So your knees are bent, so the ankle here is just over the top. You're gonna go ahead and squeeze from here and lengthen into a plank. So plank position. Now, if you notice the rollers on your skins, that is not a comfortable place for it to be. So just on the top of the feet, you're gonna pop your hips up and then come back to that plank. Squeeze, resist. Exhale, two. Now really use that core to squeeze. Two more times, you guys. Left. One more time. I adjust that roller out as I need to. Squeeze. And relax it. Push back. Awesome job. Now we're just gonna try just a few of those pull-up holds from this position. We worked the hamstring before. We're gonna work the core and the quad. So we can work the back part of the body and the front part of the body. We wanna to try to create that balance in the body. All right, so I can either hold for my palms here. 
Exhale, pull it in, extend back out. Or I can come to my forearms, abs in, neck in neutral. Pull and push. Now I don't have to come all the way out. I can keep this small or I can lengthen and pull. One, two, and three. Now really use your abs to pull, four. Exhale, squeeze for five. I can do a crouching tiger, six, seven, and eight. Exhale for nine. One more time, you guys. Relax it. Awesome work. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Beautiful job. So there's also another great way that I can use this for my triceps. Remember, I can come from here with weights, and I can do an overhead tricep press. From this position, I'm using my roller. I'm going to go ahead and take the roller just in front of me. I want to make sure that I keep my glutes tight. So I want to protect my back. So even if I'm up in this shrinks pose like this and we're not dog, I need to keep my glutes really engaged to protect that back. All right, so from here, I'm going to take this underneath my elbow. So just directly underneath the elbow. Now the arms ideally are parallel to each other. As I lengthen my legs, I'm contracting my quadriceps and my glutes and engaging my abs. So nice inhale, I'm gonna gently lift up and then exhale, pull it in and release. Now you can play with where this is. Some people like to have it just on the elbows or just over it. It could be a smaller lift, you guys decide. Lengthen your legs. We're going to go 10 times and we're going to drive this in. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. So one. And two. Now squeeze and pull. Keep from here that chin off the chest. Four. Exhale. For five. Neck in neutral. Six. Inhale. Squeeze your buns. Seven. And eight and nine, one more time. And breath. So I'm going to take a moment here and just look to my left side. Maybe hold on to the roll if you feel it moving away. And then look to the right side. So all we're going to do is we're going to lift up here as high as we feel comfortable. And we're going to do 10 little pulses, okay? You can focus on holding an up dog, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Nice inhale. I'm going to come up as high as I feel comfortable. Squeeze the buttons. Pulse. One, two, three. I'm driving the elbows right into the side. Four and five. Squeeze the triceps for six, seven, eight, and nine. One more time. And let it go. Great job, you guys. Go ahead from here. And push up, up dog. We're going to go ahead and lift those hips up and I'm going to lengthen. Now I can use my roller to create even a bigger stretch here in my spine. Nice inhale, sinking the head through, puppy pose, start the pelvis, return back up. We're going to come back up to a standing. Take a quick moment here. Open it up, deep breath in. I'm gonna lift up here off of my back knee. So I'm in that supported lunge. My upper body can stay nice and tall. I'm gonna inhale here and exhale. Very good, let's just give a quick little stretch to the other side. Other side forward, curl the toe, lengthen. You can do this move here by bending your back knee, Tucking your pelvis if it does not work to keep it straight. Now I'm just going to gently step right up. So speaking of the lunge, I have two ways that I can do this. If I've done this before, we'll get to it. That way you can practice. Just a note here, if I have weights here behind me, always better to keep them in front. That way we don't roll the ankle. All right, so from here, the more advanced pose would be to step back with your left foot. Reach for the sky. Rotate in towards that back knee. So I'm just gently coming in, but I'm pressing here with the right hand and resisting with the left. Coming back in, 
tying my knee through and opening back up. Now, if balance is an issue, I could come here with the, the roller on the other side. Reach, rotate, lift, and pull. You can still do this move, you guys, and build that confidence with your balance, okay? So shoulders away from your ears, step back left. Inhale, exhale, reach, and pull. Inhale, exhale. Now squeeze that roller as tight as you can. Inhale, exhale. That's the way. No tension here in your neck. Squeeze and pull. Open. Rotate and left. Inhale. Exhale. That's the way. Reach or rotate. Pull through. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Great job, you guys. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. From here, 10 pull throughs. 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, squeeze it now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, you guys. Roll the hips out. Just exaggerate it and rewind it. Okay, so now we're going to go with the other side. Remember, if I have an issue with my balance, when I step back here, the roller on the other side, I can still reach back, still reach up. And still lift my knee. All right, so big breath in now. Or right foot back, open up your heart. Rotate, push here. Left arm pushing, right arm resisting. Back up, tie through. One, squeeze, and two, open. Your whole body rotates, you guys. Three, resist with that back arm. And four, inhale. That's it, five and six, open and seven, three more. Now eight, two more times, you guys. A nine, one more. Give me 10 pulls. One, two, three, that's it, four, five, six, you guys are so strong. Seven, eight, nine, and let it go. Great work, roll it out. Rewind it. So as I come here to a lateral lunge, I don't need to use my roller. However, I can for resistance. So what's gonna happen here is my right heel is gonna press. I wanna make sure my knee doesn't come past my toe. I'm gonna squeeze the roller here as I rotate to that right side. I'm gonna lift up here my right leg and rotate that to the left side. So nice deep breath here. One, two. Now push through and resist with your right arm. Four, as you rotate. Five, six. Left leg is straight. Seven, right knee bends. Nine, let's go five more. Five, push. Four, three, two, one more time, guys, and rest. Awesome. Take from here, lengthen, heart as high. From here, you guys, higher than your hip. So keep that heart up. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. We're going to switch sides here before we stretch. Now, from here, I'm bending my left knee. I want to make sure that that knee doesn't travel past my toe. Take a big inhale as I rotate. What happens? Left foot rotates to the right, and I push and resist. Nice inhale. One, two, three. Press through that heel. Four, five, rotate, six. Seven, resist with your right arm as well. Eight, nine. Let's do five more. Five and four. Now three, almost there you guys. And two 
and one. Fantastic. Lengthen, shoot that from here, energy from your heel up your hip, travels up the back, lengthening out to the front of your head. Big breath now. Awesome work, you guys. Fantastic. So back to the middle here. March it out. One. And two. And three. Now four. Exhale, pull through. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Now nine. Ten. Now just from here, you guys, left leg comes back. I'm going to squeeze this as tight as I can. Come to a rising kick. I'm going to try to keep this as high as I can lift my leg. One, two, three, open, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, eight, and nine, one more time, and ten. Fantastic. We're going to switch to the other side. Deep breath in now. Squeeze. Think of cactus arms. You're really pushing this together. Ready? One, two, three. Exhale, pull down. Four, keep your abs in. Five, six, seven. That's away. Eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Fantastic, you guys. Now, what we're going to do here, I can use a wall, I can use a chair. So use and work my inner thigh, my arms at the same time. I'm going to take here my left hand down, my right arm on top. Now, I can let my elbows relax down, but I'm not going to be using my arms. So I want you to think about utilizing your arms 50% and your legs 50%. So you're going to rotate heels in. Upper body, nice and tall. Drop as low as you can. Don't let your upper body shoot forward. And then push it up. Inhale. One, nice strong arms, nice strong abs. Use the inner thigh to press the heel. Four and five. Six. Squeeze that. Seven and eight. Great job, you guys. Nine. Now stay low. And pulse. One, elbows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Rest it up. Switch hands on top. Shoulders relax away from your ears. Elbows still high. Press through the heel. One and two, three, four. Squeeze and push. Five, six, Abs in seven, use your arms to help you. Eight and nine and ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Push this away from you. Lengthen your spine. Then shrug your quadriceps. From here, right arm reaches, left arm comes behind your back. Nice inhale, you can tuck it all the way behind you. Look for the wall behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Other side now. Reach, opposite directions. Tuck that hand behind the back. Look behind you. Inhale. And exhale. Very good, you guys. All right, let's go ahead from here. Roll it out a few times. Reach and pull. Now notice, do you feel any difference from when you started? Have you created more space in your body? Lengthen. One more time, push it away. Now bring it down. Shoot it. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, make it count. Beautiful job, you guys. We're gonna do a little bit of rolling at the end, but let's go ahead and pick up our weights. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is a little bit of our dip and flip. Now, if five pound weights are too heavy, which they can very easily be, 
I would go lighter with my weight so that I can do the movement without hurting my neck. So I can make this harder by using a lightweight by squeezing and engaging. What that does is it shows you what you're working and it also makes the movement harder. Okay, so I'm gonna go lighter just to be able to explain. You're gonna go ahead and put this you guys are in a W. What I want you to do is reach to a high B and then from here, squeeze your total leg together and open up here and squeeze your scapula. You can pop up on your tiptoes when you come up. So one and two. Now three, drag and pull down. Four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax your shoulders away. Now I want you to lift up your elbows. Okay, so most important here is I'm not shrugging as I'm trying to do this. So my elbows here are slightly lower than my shoulders. I can do one arm at a time and then the other, or I can do both. I can also come to a tricep extension from here. This is a little bit harder, bringing more of my shoulders into it. Ready? One, two. Now the palms are pressing backwards. Three. I can squeeze the weight here, four. No tension or stress here in my neck. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And rest. Roll it out. Okay, so these weights here, they can be light, they can also sneak up into your neck if you start shrugging your shoulders as you do them. Okay, so now one time here, you guys, all we're gonna do is add that together. So push back. So palms up, pull back in, rotate out, pull back in. Reach, rotate. One, inhale, exhale, two, W, V, bicep kick back. Think of a lateral raise here with your palms facing back. Four, don't shrug. Five, long lean muscles here, you guys. Six, exhale, reach. Seven, think about what you're doing. Bring your energy and awareness into your moves. Eight, we're trying to bring balance where there is none. One more time. And rest. Great job, you guys. Bend your knees, place it down. Inhale, exhale. Think about the moves that you do every day. Carry your groceries, carry your purse, carry your bags. Okay, you use your biceps frequently. But do you ever walk to the store going like this? Nope. Same thing, you guys, we're coming back to the inner thigh. Okay, we use our quadriceps a lot. We need to make sure that we work those muscles evenly here, especially to support the knees. So coming back here, this time, I'm gonna come up on my left tiptoe. My feet are still rotated out, so I'm more comfortable in a sumo squat, that's fine. Still utilizing the arms, less my arms need a break. You can also use a wall with a bell behind you. Drop, one. And two, press through the tiptoe through this heel. Four, five, six, and seven. Now eight, and nine, and pulsing. One, two, three, that's it. Four, five, six, elbows up. Eight, nine, ten, let it go. Other tiptoe, nice deep breath. Other hand on top. One, two, three, and four. Now five. How low can you go? Six and seven. Keep those abs in. Eight and nine. Posture tall. Ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let it go. Awesome job, you guys. Push that away, a lengthen. We're gonna come back to the core for a few moves. Now, from here, lengthen. 
We're not going to lie on the roller for this, so we're just going to take this off to the side and tuck it down. We will do some crunches, you guys. Okay, so if you have time to hang around, then you can. All right, so from here, low back imprints, pelvis tilts. Nice deep breath, feet under my chin. Nice inhale here. Exhale, lift, lower. Exhale, one, two, and three, four. Is your head completely relaxed in your hands? Are your thumbs wrapped around the side of your neck here? To help support you. The little hands through your head. Low back pressing, three, two, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let it go. We're coming to a side plank, you guys. This time, you can, if you want to, you can utilize your roller, okay? You can elevate your body here and lift up higher. I'm gonna rotate under and lift it back up. If this does not work, I take from here, one knee, bend it, rotate, lift. Wanna make it harder? I add a weight. Nice deep breath here. If I'm trying to stagger here and use my roller, I will take here my bottom foot in front of my top, Elbow underneath, three, one, exhale, for two, three, for four, and five, six, seven. Think about your oblique here. Eight, side of your abs in the bottom, nine, rest. Now from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift from here, both, both here, knees are bent. I'm gonna lift up my hips from the floor, reach and pull, elbow, knee, back down. So lift, extend, pull, back in. Lift, pull, inhale, exhale. Make sure this elbow tucks in under your shoulder here. Inhale, reach, pull, let it go. Reach, pull, one more. Lift, pull, and let it go. Keep your knees bent, open up your arms to a great big T. Let's really extend those arms away from us. Now, if you have a tight IT band, you can always place your roller in front of you as you try lengthening that leg out. You can support with your arm as well. You can roll your ankle. If you have the flexibility, you can grab onto your toe. Nice deep breath here. Open up all the way from your fingertip, okay, of your right hand to the left, all the way over. Great work. Okay, so one more time now, other side, side of the plank. If I choose bottom foot front, top one back, otherwise knee bent. Optional weight, elbow under the shoulder, drop it up. Reach, one, two, three, Four, five, exhale to rotate it under, six, seven, keep those abs in you guys, eight, exhale, feel the oblique in the bottom, nine, and 10. Remove the roller, bend your knees, elbow under, reach, pull for one, inhale. Reach, pull, for two. Both sides of your hips. Reach, and three. Reach, pull, and four. Elbow under, you gotta keep adjusting, do it. Reach, exhale, five. Squeeze that bottom hip up, you guys. Lift, pull, six. Abs in. Lift, pull, 
seven, three more times. Left, pull, eight, last two. Left, pull, you got it one more time. Left, pull, beautiful. I'm gonna take from here, both of my knees in for a few and lengthen those arms out. Big breath in. I can lengthen my top leg if that feels comfortable. I can bend my knee in. It's all about adjusting these moves so they work well for you. Take the roller, bring it underneath your ankle. Nice deep breath here. Feel that nice long line here from your fingertip down to your heel. We're gonna do a few rolls here, you guys, with the roll to lengthen and stretch that body out. Okay, so from here, I've got, I'm gonna place this first right underneath my shoulder blades. Take my hands here and support my head. So I'm gonna squeeze my buns up and just gently roll. Now, I'm not coming on my neck, just coming to the top of my shoulder blades, my abs are and my buns are tight to the bottom of the shoulder blades, okay? Inhale, exhale. It's my little massage here. I'm gonna add a rainbow. So I'm gonna rotate down to that right, down to the left. One and two and three, four, five and six, seven and eight, two more. One more and let it go. I'm just gonna take this here underneath my knees. I can do the number four stretch. I do not have to elevate my hips. If comfortable, I'm gonna take from here the right ankle, cross it over my left. I can keep this where it's in the small of my back, or for me, I hold more tension here in the glutes, so I prefer to roll out that area. So if your back bothers you, you can adjust this. Nice inhale, side to side. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Now all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop, I've got my right ankle on top here of my left knee, drop the foot, circle it around, come back to the middle. So circling to the right, one, two, and now I'm gonna rewind it. One, two, one more time and rest. Number four, other side. Side to side. Inhale, exhale. If you guys have any questions, if there's anything that you need to work on that you want to add to these workouts, something you want more of, something you want less of, just go ahead and comment and let me know, you guys. Inhale, exhale. One more time, let me rewind it. Inhale, exhale. Last time. Fantastic. Go ahead from here. Gently roll it up. You're gonna go ahead and come to a little bit of a cross like you're sitting. If that does not work, you're gonna lengthen your legs out. All right, so come to this position. Inhale down. Exhale up. One, two. Three, other way. Inhale, exhale. One, and two, one more time. Three. If I want to, I can use my roller. Palm up, palm down. Other side. Palm up, palm down. A little bit of a twist here. I have the option. My leg straight, I can cross here my top over, like so. Now I'm gonna rotate in towards the knee. So for this, I'll rotate like this. If it doesn't work, I would tuck here that back foot under. I wanna make sure that I'm sitting here on both of my sit bones. I'm gonna reach and lengthen, hug that knee in, sit up nice and tall. As the knee comes in, the hip stays down. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing out the internal organ, creating space in the spine. We're gonna just switch to that other side. I can tuck here. 
I can lengthen. I lengthen, I'm contracting that quadricep, rotating it under. Maybe your knee bothers you to bend it back. Nice deep breath, or maybe the flexibility is the area. Open, inhale, and exhale. Pulling the knee in and pushing the hip down. Great job, you guys. Three big breaths here. Inhale, positive. Let it go. Reach for the sky. Energy into the heart center. Think of all the blessings in your life. Inhale, positive. Exhale, let go of anything negative. Relax your hands on the heart. Gently bow your head. Namaste, have an amazing day today. And if you're a mom, happy Mother's Day. If you're a dog mom, happy Mother's Day too. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing weekend.